Hello! Good day to all of you! Our topic for the discussion today is all about finding the general form of the circle that passes through the given points. But before we proceed, let's have a recap of our previous lessons. What is the standard form of the circle? So the standard form of the circle is, first, if we have center at origin, that will be x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. Then if we have center at h and k, the standard form will be quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Then the general form of the circle is x squared plus y squared plus dx plus EY plus F is equal to 0. We are asked to find the general form of the circle that passes through the given points. The points are 2 and 3, 6 and 1, and 4 and negative 3. So how are we going to do that? The first step is we are going to uh, substitute the given points in our general form. We are going to substitute each point in our general form. Form. Let's proceed. So we have uh, 2 squared plus 3 squared plus D times 2 plus E times 3 plus F is equal to 0. Let us simplify. So 4 plus 9 plus 2D plus 3E plus f is equal to 0. Then lastly, combine similar terms, we will be having 13 plus 2d plus 3e plus f is equal to 0. So this will be our equation number 1. Okay? Let's do the same with a second point. We will be having 6 squared plus 1 squared plus D times 6 plus E times 1 plus F is equal to 0. So we have next 36 plus 1 plus 6D plus E plus F is equal to 0. Combine similar terms, we will be having 37 plus 6D plus E plus F is equal to 0. This will be our equation number 2. Last one. We have 4 squared plus negative 3 squared plus D times 4 plus E times uh, negative 3 plus f is equal to 0. Simplify. We will be having 16 plus 9 plus 4d minus 3e plus f is equal to 0. Lastly, combine similar terms. We will be having 25 plus 4d minus 3e plus f is equal to 0. This will be our equation number 3. After the substitution of the given points in our general form, the next step is to uh, use the elimination because our main goal here in our problem is to solve for the value of d, e, and f so that we can arrive with our uh, general form. So how are we going to do that? We are going to have a pair of equations. We can have 1 and 2, 1 and 3, 2 and 3. So let us try at equation number 1 and 2. Let us try equation 1 and 2. So equation 1 is uh, 13 plus 2d plus 3e plus f is equal to 0. Equation number 2, 37 
plus 6D plus E plus F is equal to 0. We are going to do the uh, elimination. So, how are we going to do that? Upon uh, looking at our equations, we can uh, easily say that F is the easiest variable to be eliminated. How? We are going to multiply the one equation by negative. So, let's say we are going to multiply the equation number uh, 2 by negative. Let's multiply equation number 2 by negative. By multiplying negative, we can now eliminate the F. We have uh, 13 plus 2D plus 3E plus F is equal to 0. Then, the equation number 2, we will be having negative 37 um, minus 6D minus E minus F is equal to 0. As you can see, F will be eliminated. So, we have here um, negative 24 minus 4D plus 2E is equal to 0. So, this time, this will be our equation number 4. But, look at the difference of equation number 4 from 1, 2, and 3. In equation number 4, we already eliminated the variable F. We already tried 1 and 2. Um, this time, let us try at equation number 2 and 3. Equation number 2 is 37 plus 6D plus E plus F is equal to 0. Equation number 3 is 25 plus 4D minus 3E plus F is equal to 0. So, in, a, uh, in our equation number 4, we eliminated variable F. So, we should also eliminate variable F in, uh, in equation 2 and 3. So, let's multiply um, equation number 3 by negative so that we can eliminate the F. We will be having 37 plus 6D plus E plus F is equal to 0. Then, uh, equation number 3, we will be having negative 25 minus 4D plus 3E minus F is equal to 0. Okay? So, the, we will be having um, 12 plus 2D plus 4E. So, F is eliminated is equal to 0. This will be our equation number 5. Next, we are going to combine equation number 4 and equation number 5. So that um, we can now solve for one variable if we eliminate the one variable. So upon observing the variable, we can easily eliminate the D. If we multiply equation number 5 by 2, we can eliminate the variable D. So, the remaining variable will be only E. Let's try. Let's multiply equation number 5 by 2. So, equation number 4, uh, negative 24 minus 4D plus 2E is equal to 0. Equation number 5, that is 24 plus 4D plus 8E is equal to 0. Okay, so this is eliminated or is 0. D is eliminated here. We will be having 10E is equal to 0. So as you can see, we can now solve for the value of E. How? Divide both sides by 10. So E will be equal to 0. That is the value of our E. After having the value of E which is equal to 0, we can also solve for the value of D by substitution. We are going to substitute E from equation 4 or equation 5 to solve for the variable D or to solve for the value of D. 
let's try. Uh, for example, um, at equation number 4, if E is equal to 0. Let's try both. At um, equation number 5, if E is equal to 0. We will try to substitute both sides to see if at the end we will be having the same answer. Okay? So, equation number 4, let's substitute E by 0. We have negative 24 minus 4D plus 2 times 0 is equal to 0. We have negative 24 minus 4D is equal to 0. We have next negative 4D is equal to 24. Divide both sides by negative 4 to solve 4D. So, the value of D will be equal to negative 6. At equation number 4, if E is equal to 0, let's try it. At equation number 5, if E is equal to 0, let us see if we will be having the same value. So, we have 12 plus 2D plus 4 times 0 is equal to 0. We have 12 plus 2D is equal to 0. Then, 2D is equal to negative 12. Divide both sides by 2. D is equal to negative 6. As you can see, kahit alin tayo or kahit saan tayo mag-substitute dyan, at the end, we will be having the same value. So, no need to worry. Kahit saan ka mag-substitute, at the end, we will be having the same answer. After getting the value of D and E, we can now solve for the value of F by substitution. Just simply select from equation 1, 2, or 3, then do the substitution. Uh, it is the same as earlier equation. Wherever we are going to substitute the value of D and E, at the end, we will be having the same answer. Let us try at equation number 1. If D is equal to negative 6 and E is equal to 0, we have... 13 plus 2 times negative 6 plus 3 times 0 plus F is equal to 0. Then, 13 minus 12 plus 0 plus F is equal to 0. Simplify, we will be having 1 plus F is equal to 0. So, the value of F will be negative one. After getting the value of D, which is equal to negative 6, E, which is equal to 0, and F is equal to negative 1, we can now have the general form. What, do, what are we going to do is just simply substitute the value of D, E, and F in our general form. We will be having X squared plus Y squared plus negative 6 times X plus uh, 0 times y plus so the value of f is negative 1 is equal to 0. Then simplify, we will be having x squared plus y squared minus 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. This will be our general form.